Bienvenue. Welcome to the 2020 Enactus Canada National Exposition Opening Ceremony. My name is Nicole Almond and I'm the president of Enactus Canada. On behalf of our board of directors and national office, I am thrilled to welcome you as we celebrate the generations of entrepreneurial leaders in our network who are passionate about advancing the economic, social, and environmental health of Canada. Nous sommes très fiers de vous accueillir ici aujourd'hui pour célébrer vos accomplissements. Votre engagement et votre courage sont admirables. Ensemble, vous avez créé un réel impact dans vos communautés. I'd like to start off on a bit of a personal note. The National Expo is the absolute highlight of my year. Everything we do is either in preparation for or a direct result of this national event. So I know I can speak on behalf of our entire team when I say that we're so disappointed that we can't be together in person today. But maybe we can make it feel a little more like a normal national? That feels more like it. This is certainly an unprecedented time for all of us, but it has been so inspiring to see how everyone has banded together through these trying times. From teams who have pivoted projects to support people in need affected by COVID-19, to our partners whose outpouring of support for all of you has been truly overwhelming. Thank you to each and every one of you. To our students, we could not be more proud. You have reminded us that you are the leaders our world needs now more than ever. And maybe I'm just speaking for myself here when I say that there are some upsides, one of which being that my favorite event of the year, instead of just being three days, is now an exciting month-long celebration of entrepreneurial action, competition, and recognition. So maybe I could get used to this. Okay, don't quote me on that just yet. Let's see how things go first. But let's talk about what this virtual national looks like. Don't worry, all this info is online at enactus.ca, so you don't need to take notes. This past week, we hope you took advantage of all the opportunities available through Careers Week, including webinars on virtual interview tips and building your digital profile. If you missed anything, all of the webinars, along with the HR Innovation Forum, proudly presented by Deloitte Canada, have been made available to watch on our site. In today's ceremony, we'll name the recipients of our individual awards and bursaries, our Project Accelerator Best Project Awards, and then announce the league pairings for the National Challenge final rounds of competition and the Enactus opening round of competition. Next week, while the judges are evaluating the opening round teams, we have even more opportunities for you to connect. First, We'll be hosting virtual networking sessions on Tuesday and Thursday, where we'll be randomly pairing students in online breakout rooms to connect and collaborate. Sign up to connect with new friends virtually, no strings attached. You never know who you're gonna meet next. And for the first time ever, you don't need to be a judge to evaluate other teams. You can watch all the opening round presentations on our YouTube channel and vote for your favorites for the People's Choice Awards. Next Friday, the HSBC Women's Entrepreneurial Leadership Forum, proudly presented by HSBC Bank Canada, is going virtual, followed by the announcement of the results of the national challenges and opening round, including the live selection of the semi-final round league pairings. The next week, we'll be announcing the final five and holding our final round of competition, proudly presented by Tim Hortons, and our very first online after party with an Actus Trivia and the announcement of our People's Choice Awards. If you haven't yet visited enactus.ca, you can find all the details there and watch your email for weekly updates from me. Check your junk mail if you haven't seen one yet. So now, on with the show. All right, we're going live in 10 seconds. You guys ready? I'm good to go. Catherine? Yep, let's rock and roll. Aaron? Let's do it. All right, live in three, Two, one. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aaron Brown, Senior Program Manager, coming to you live from my basement here in Ottawa. My name is Mara McGowey. I'm Catherine Quinn. And I'm Meredith Ross. And thank you for joining us on Last Year Today. 
On today's segment, we want to highlight an organization filled with passionate, innovative, and bright students from all across this wonderful country. These are not your average university and college students. Enactus. Was it Ian Aiken? Yes, Mara, I told you not to make the Zoom link public. Anyways, I, I think Mara was saying there's a unique group of university and college students dedicating their post-secondary time to doing good. Over 3,000 students united this year to directly impact the lives of over 40,000 people. Through 275 community empowerment projects from St. John's to Vancouver implemented just this past year alone. From creating package-free biodegradable shampoo and toiletry tablets, to diverting plastic waste from our waters by creating a biodegradable, non-toxic solution to grain waste. But first, Anacta students kicked off the academic year in San Jose, California, attending the 2019 Anacta World Cup. Over 100 faculty and students made the trip to San Jose, California to cheer on Team Canada as Lambton College was named the World Cup runner-up. And that was just the beginning of another incredible year. Over 3,000 students invested almost 180,000 volunteer project hours. Helped launch 389 businesses and helping over 100,000 people find employment globally. Taught over 60,000 people new career skills and over 70,000 people financial literacy skills. Provided over 400,000 people access to a sustainable food supply and diverted over 120,000 metric tons of waste from landfills. But of course, things change. Between campuses and cities shutting down, projects having to pivot, and teams being dispersed. I mean, just this time last year, I was delivering a presentation pretty similar to this one, but it wasn't in front of my computer screen, and the audience looked a little bit different. But... This is an actus where persevering is what we do best. I, for one, have learned three new TikTok dances and gained a wealth of information on the Chicago Bulls. Not exactly the type of persevering Catherine was talking about, Mara. Also, that background is awful. Either change it to the Raptors or get rid of it. Fine. <clears throat> well, how about this? One team in Nova Scotia has given away 5,500 pounds in free food bundles to help people through the COVID-19 crunch. And I just wanted to say, I finally got the chance to present this project at an Anactus National Exposition. This is a pretty huge deal for me. And Meredith, we're so proud of you. The team from Durham College transformed one of their projects into an online tool to help promote local small businesses in their community. The Anactus team from the University of Regina launched SAS Mass an initiative that includes making and selling handmade masks and donating proceeds to local organizations in need. And these are just a few examples that speak to the resiliency, motivation, and commitment to others that define who these students are. So with everything that's going on in the world right now, if it has you feeling a little defeated, down or alone, just remember that you're part of an incredible community. You are an actus. Canada. Thank you for all that you do. Now it's time to give out some hardware. We're kicking it off with a new award we launched this year to recognize not one, but two Enactus teams. Although we believe strongly in competition, we also know the importance of collaboration and wanted to recognize teams who work together to increase their impact. Our inaugural winners of the Collaboration Award are Okanagan College and BCIT. Let's hear from their program manager about why they were selected. Today, we are celebrating two teams who have found a unique way to come together and tackle a shared issue. Okanagan College and BCIT were able to identify an alignment between their two projects, Roots Maps and Raw Solutions, back in 2019. They focus on a shared goal of addressing food waste by taking local steps to create a global footprint. Over the last year, I've had the pleasure of watching them work together and support each other in so many ways. And I'm so proud to see both teams receive this award for their courage, collaboration, and commitment to a shared vision. Congratulations. It's different this year, but the message is the same. Today, we all win. 
3M Canada is committed to supporting education and community programs that put a brighter future within reach. They are proud to have funded the 3M Canada Project Accelerator since 2014, supporting innovative projects that address social issues within Canada. Congratulations to all nine teams whose creative and innovative projects received funding through the Accelerator this year. This year's Best Project Award winner created a social enterprise that employs adults with developmental disabilities to develop package-free, single-use, sustainable bathroom products for hotels and consumers. The 3M Canada Project Accelerator Best Project Award goes to Wilfrid Laurier University's Earth Suds. Students, faculty, thank you for everything you keep impressing. Awarded earlier this year, Founders Bursaries recognize students who have demonstrated superior leadership and team development skills. Supported by the John Dobson Foundation and named in honor of our founder, Ian Aiken, this bursary program gave out $50,000 in bursaries this year. Congratulations to the 2020 Founders Bursary recipients. As the only bank devoted exclusively to entrepreneurs, BDC is proud to support the BDC Project Accelerator. Launched in 2011, it provides resources for projects that accelerate the success of Canadian entrepreneurs. Congratulations to all the teams who received funding this year. This year's Best Project taught 28 immigrant women the basics of starting a business, leading to the launch of a sustainable business. The BDC Project Accelerator Best Project Award goes to the University of Calgary and their Project Empower. You can be honest, who is still in their pajamas, and actors don't judge. Hi there, welcome to SGN. My name is Carolyn Barham. I'm thrilled to be here to announce the recipient of this year's Whitney Barham Social Justice Bursary. Before my daughter Whitney passed away in 2006, she, like you, was a university student dedicated to making a true and meaningful difference. This bursary, in the amount of $2,500, is awarded annually to a student who actively demonstrates an interest in social justice and responsibility. And active students, you are changing the world. Congratulations to all the nominees. And again, thank you, active students. You are the good news. This year, the Whitney Barham Social Justice Bursary goes to a young woman who dedicates her life to fighting for marginalized populations, including women and immigrants in our society. She's also the project manager of the University of Windsor's Liberty Project, a social enterprise that empowers female survivors of human trafficking, addiction, and abuse to reach independence through education and employment. Congratulations to Andrea Gotti, writing problems but if you move things around the words will appear hello everyone my name is Kim Hallwood and I am the head of corporate sustainability for HSBC Bank Canada the HSBC entrepreneurs project accelerator is just one of several Enactus programs HSBC supports all aimed at generating more entrepreneurial leadership in Canada. This project accelerator provides an Actus teams with resources to enable them to identify, innovate, and develop projects that empower aspiring or existing entrepreneurs to set up and grow their ventures. And we couldn't be more proud of what you've accomplished. Congratulations to all the teams who've received funding this year. This year's winning project helps students use their talents to create their own business and generate real profit leading to the creation of 53 sustainable businesses. Congratulations to the HSBC Entrepreneurs Project Accelerator Best Project Award winner, the University of Windsor and Youth Rise. All around the world, Enactus connects us all. Hashtag, we all win. 
Hi, my name is Rhonda Mitchell, and I'm the Customer Development Director of Strategy here at Unilever Canada. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy at this very unique time. Unilever has been a purpose-driven company from its inception. Today, our purpose is simple but clear, to make sustainable living commonplace. And we believe that every single employee has a role to play in making that happen. And just like every person on our team, we know that every student on the Enactus team is working every day to create a more sustainable world. Which is why we are so proud to support the Project Leader of the Year Award, recognizing the student leaders behind the projects. Congratulations to all the nominees and thank you for all that you do. This year's recipient set out to expand her Enactus team's accessible food program globally. But when expansion plans were halted during the COVID-19 crisis, she launched a free produce initiative to feed thousands of families in need. Today, thanks to her leadership, St. Mary's University's Square Roots Bundle Program operates in 10 communities across the country. Congratulations, Hannah Tibbet. Time and time again, empowering those nearby, together we win. Northbridge is passionate about making a difference in their communities, which is why they launched the Northbridge Safer Communities Project Accelerator this year. This accelerator supports projects that use innovation and risk mitigation to create safer communities within Canada. This year's top project is a social enterprise that makes communities safer for those with mobility issues by recycling and refurbishing used mobility devices and donating them or selling them at affordable prices. The Northbridge Safer Communities Project Accelerator Best Project Award goes to Western University's Roll Up Solutions. Hashtag or handle. Tag us when you post online. Get the message out. Anactus alumni play an integral role in the expansion of our program. From acting as ambassadors, to advising Anactus teams and students, or stepping up to volunteer as judges, league coordinators, or regional hub leaders. So if you're a graduating student and you're sad to see your Anactus career come to an end, know that it doesn't have to be over. Register at anactusalumni.ca to stay connected and get involved. Annually, the Alumni of the Year Award recognizes the outstanding alumni who've gone above and beyond to support Enactus Canada's mission beyond graduation and continue to embody the values and teachings of Enactus in their chosen profession. This year's recipient is Ross Arsenault, alumnus of St. Mary's University. Hey everyone, I'm super excited to be here to congratulate Ross Arsenault as Alumni of the Year for Enactus Canada. I can't think of anyone more deserving than Ross. Uh, when I first met Ross, he was actually presenting in one of my marketing classes. I thought to myself, this kid's a great presenter, we should recruit him for Enactus. And ever since then, he's truly embodied the spirit of everything that Enactus stands for. He was a national presenter for us for three times in a row. He was the president of our team, and he helped launch what I think is the coolest project Enactus St. Mary's has ever run, Square Roots. So it's no surprise that after leaving uh, the university and moving to the next stage of his career, Ross has continued to embody that Enactus spirit. He launched a business whose sole purpose was saving whales. So think about that for a second. His job every day is to save whales. If that doesn't say Enactus, I don't know what does. So Ross, congratulations again. I'm super proud of you. And I'm even more proud to call you a friend. Take care. Sorry, there's no stage. The trophies are in the mail. The wins all still count. Hi everyone. My name is Vittoria Borelli and I'm the Vice President of Sustainability at Sobeys. As a proud Canadian company, Sobeys is passionate about making a difference in our communities from coast to coast, which is why we are thrilled to offer this exciting new project accelerator that supports teams who are committed to finding smart solutions to reduce avoidable plastics in grocery retail. I wanna extend a huge congratulations from the team here at Sobeys to all of the teams that were part of the Accelerator this year. This year's winner 
has enabled local community-led plastic recycling by creating a small, affordable manufacturing system that shreds and transforms plastic waste into new and innovative products, diverting 1.75 metric tons of plastic waste this year. The Sobeys Carrying the Future Project Accelerator Best Project Award goes to the University of Ottawa and Poly. The show must go on. We're all in this together. The spirit lives on. Advisors play a critical role in helping Enactus teams achieve success. They're members of the local community that volunteer their time to support, encourage, and mentor teams across the country. Many are alumni or representatives from our partner companies. The Enactus Team Advisor of the Year Award recognizes an advisor who did an outstanding job of assisting an Enactus team. This year's recipient is Brad Egerton, Team Advisor to Enactus Okanagan College. Let's hear a little more about him from the team. One of my favorite things about working with Brad is his creative thinking and his enthusiasm. Every time I meet with Brad, I leave feeling motivated and inspired. We couldn't think of anyone more deserving of this award. Thank you, Brad! An actus goes on, the exposition continues, even from the couch. Hi, my name is Mark Beckles and I am the Senior Director, Youth Strategy and Innovation at RBC. The RBC Future Launch Project Accelerator supports projects that help young Canadians prepare for a drastically changing workforce through work readiness and skills development. RBC is proud to support Enactus teams as part of our Future Launch initiative focused on empowering Canadian youth for the jobs of tomorrow. This year, 18 Enactus teams received $3,000 in funding to invest in their projects. And in just a moment, we will announce the top three teams who will be taking home $9,000 in prize money. We are so thrilled with what you've accomplished. And I wanna say congratulations to all the teams who participated. The second runner up receiving $2,000 is George Brown College's Youth Going Forward. The runner-up receiving $3,000 is Western University and Enactus Hacks. And the winner of this year's Best Project Award and a $4,000 prize partnered with school boards to provide over 650 elementary and secondary students a 10-week mentorship program and the tools to launch their own business. Congratulations to the University of Windsor and Youth Ride. Thanks to our partners funding our important work, driving great impact. The John Dobson Foundation understands that the success of Enactus teams across the country is in large part thanks to the leadership of the dedicated faculty advisors that work tirelessly to help advance our programs at academic institutions across the country. And today we're recognizing the new faculty who've joined the network, our new John Dobson Enactus Fellows. Started in 2003, the John Dobson Enactus Fellowship recognizes the contribution made by faculty advisors as they teach, mentor, and coach students enrolled in our programs. The John Dobson Foundation is proud to support this valuable initiative as it reflects their desire to improve entrepreneurial education in Canada. And that starts with faculty. The 17 individuals being inducted today will join an esteemed group of over 260 members who've been welcomed into this fellowship since its launch. Plaque is on the way. Welcome to the fellowship. Thanks for all you do. The Rookie Faculty Advisor of the Year Award recognizes a new Enactus faculty advisor that made an outstanding contribution in the past academic year by mentoring and coaching their Enactus team. This year, the award goes to Melody McNeil from Nova Scotia Community College Marconi campus. Let's hear from her team about why she was selected. 
Melody has undoubtedly been the driving force behind her students' success, both academically and within our Enactus chapter. Her dedication and passion for her students and Enactus has been evident in her success. Her contemporary touch and constant motivation has brought great success to our developing chapter. Melody inspires all of us to be agents of change in both our personal and professional lives. We are not poets. Maybe you can do better? Send us your haikus. Hello everyone. My name is Paul Hanna and I'm the Executive Vice President of Member Relations, Governance and Corporate Services here at the Cooperators. The Cooperators Youth Mental Wellness Project Accelerator supports projects that aim to decrease the severity of mental health issues in young people and increase the mental health resiliency of youth at Canadian universities and colleges. That is, their ability to effectively manage their mental wellness. You might be wondering why supporting mental health is a priority for the Cooperators. First, as an insurer, we're experts in risk management and mental health is a huge and growing risk to people's lives, to our communities, and to the economy. Second, as a cooperative, we don't exist to maximize profits. We exist to meet people's needs, and ensuring young people have the awareness and tools needed to effectively manage their mental health is an area of huge opportunity. According to the Mental Health Commission of Canada, by age 25, about 20% of Canadians will have developed a mental illness. For these reasons, it was an obvious choice to focus the Cooperators' partnership with Enactus Canada on improving youth mental health. Although we'll miss seeing all of you at our mental wellness zones this year, we're working with Enactus on some new ideas to support your mental health virtually. Watch for some exciting announcements coming soon. We are responding to the critical need in the aftermath of COVID-19 to equip young people with the tools needed to effectively manage their mental wellness now and into the future. Congratulations to the winning teams and to all of the teams that participated in the Cooperators Youth Mental Wellness Project this year. Your efforts are making a difference in the lives of young people across the country, and we look forward to hearing about the impact. On a personal note, we know this is a very difficult time for everyone and that includes university and college students. Please continue to take care of your own mental health and check in with others frequently. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. The second runner-up receiving $2,000 is St. Francis Xavier University's Enlightened Wellness. The runner-up receiving $3,000 is College of the North Atlantic Clarenville and the Victory Ambassador Program. And the winner of this year's Best Project Award and a $4,000 prize developed a mental health curriculum for a local school board, giving over 300 youth access to mental health resources. Congratulations to the University of Ottawa and Project Fly. That concludes today's award announcements. Congratulations to all the recipients. But before we move on to the league pairings for the National Challenge final rounds of competition and the Enactus opening round of competition, I am thrilled to hand it over to Enactus Canada founder and chairman Ian Aiken to say a few words. Hello and welcome. Bonjour et merci d'être avec nous aujourd'hui. My name is Ian Aiken and I am participating from my home in Montreal. My hair is a bit longer than normal and I haven't worn a tie in two months, but this is a special occasion. And so I am wearing my favorite Enactus tie. On behalf of the board of directors and everyone involved in Enactus Canada, I would like to welcome each of you to the 2020 Enactus Canada National Exposition, which is taking place virtually as we all do our best to stay safe during the pandemic. I hope that you and those close to you are well and that you are all making the most of this very unusual time. The social and economic costs of COVID-19 have been enormous. And after more than nine weeks, there is still a tremendous uncertainty regarding how the pandemic will evolve, how the economy will restart, and how the way we live will be changed going forward. 
2020 will be a year we long remember. A Danish philosopher once said, life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. With that in mind, I am thrilled that Nicole Almond and the dedicated team at the Enactus Canada head office have been able to organize this virtual version of the National Exposition so that we can highlight the great work being done by Enactus teams from coast to coast to coast, and so that we can identify a national champion who will have the honour of representing Canada at the Enactus World Cup this fall. Enactus is not considered an essential service during the pandemic. But I believe that it should be. There has always been a need for people to take entrepreneurial action to address the needs of their communities. But now with the direct and indirect impact of the pandemic, I believe that this need is greater than ever before. The combination of innovation, passion and hard work that we see within Enactus has had a tremendous positive impact on our communities, our country and the world. And I know that the youthful exuberance of the students involved with the Enactus program combined with their creativity and their focus on making a positive impact on the real world are needed now more than ever before. As students, faculty advisors, judges, or sponsors of the National Exposition, you are now part of a long-standing national movement that it uses entrepreneurial action to improve the world. As the founder of the organization in Canada, I thought I should share a few key parts of the Enactus story with you. First, we have been providing a tremendous experiential learning experience to students in Canada for more than 30 years and have been known by several different names, including ACE, which stood for Advancing Canadian Entrepreneurship. We've been hosting national expositions focused on entrepreneurship and social enterprise since 1989, and we've been naming a Student Entrepreneur of the Year every year since 1997. In 2001, an organization called Students in Free Enterprise, or SIFE, held its first international competition in London, England. We sent our national championship team to compete and then started running the SIFE program in Canada. SIFE eventually changed its name to Enactus and ACE changed its name to Enactus Canada. The Enactus World Cup has been held in cities around the world for almost 20 years. And Canada has had the distinct honour of hosting the event in Toronto during 2005 and again in 2016. Canada has won the World Cup three times and placed in the top four teams on many occasions. That means that we have an excellent program in Canada, which is a great thing for the students. But it also means that being named the national championship team in Canada is very tough. None of this would have been possible without the hard work of many people and the generous support of our donors. I would like to highlight the tremendous role that all of the members of the Board of Directors have played and especially thank Rob Patterson, who serves as the Vice Chair of the organization. I would also like to thank the head office staff for working tirelessly to ensure that the student experience is as good as it can be and that we live up to the expectation of our donors and I would like to single out Nicole Allman, the president of Enactus Canada. Nicole first became involved as an Enactus student in 2002 and joined the head office back in 2006. I consider myself incredibly fortunate to work with Nicole. I would also like to thank the faculty advisors and deans from universities and colleges across the country who have made such a big difference over the years. And finally, I would like to thank all of the individual, corporate, government, and foundation donors who have made this possible. To all of you, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. So to conclude my remarks, I have a message for all the students. I would encourage you all to make the most of your Enactus experience, to think big, to take purposeful action, to collaborate with others, and to stay safe and remain positive. Together, we really are changing the world. Thank you so much, Ian. We are so lucky to have an incredible board of directors who help guide the direction and strategy of the organization. And they truly love Anactus and all of you. So if you're interested in connecting with one of our board members, go to enactus.ca and look for Enactus Director AMAs in the agenda. 
click to register for a small group session with one of our directors. This is your chance to ask them anything, career advice, Anactus advice, or whatever else you'd like to know. Now it's time to announce the league pairings. First up, the national challenges. The final rounds of our four national challenges will take place next week. The CWB Financial Education Challenge, the Scotiabank Climate Change Challenge, the Scotiabank Youth Empowerment Challenge, and the TD Entrepreneurship Challenge, with results being announced next Friday. So first, the presentation order for the TD Entrepreneurship Challenge. Next, the presentation order for the Scotiabank Youth Empowerment Challenge. Now, the Scotiabank Climate Change Challenge. And last but not least, the CWB Financial Education Challenge. Good luck to all our regional champions. And finally, the league pairings for the 47 institutions competing in the Enactus opening round of competition. Teams have been split into 10 leagues with institutions in each league competing for two available semifinalist spots and the opening round runner-up award. The pairings for the first five leagues are... and the pairings for the second five leagues. Good luck to all competing teams. We'll be announcing the results of the opening round of competition next Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to tune in. And don't miss out on the other opportunities coming up. If you haven't already, sign up for the HSBC Women's Entrepreneurial Leadership Forum, proudly presented by HSBC Bank Canada. If this week's webinars are any indication, it should be a great conversation. Check out all the team presentations on our YouTube channel and vote for your favorites for the People's Choice Awards. Sign up for the virtual networking sessions being held next week or the Enactus Director AMAs at the end of May. If you're feeling inspired, share your own Enactus Nationals haiku using the hashtag Enactus Haikus and you may just be featured in next week's ceremony. And watch our social media channels for more information on the online after party. We know this isn't quite the same as getting together in person, but we still want you to enjoy and take the time to reflect. Reflect on what each of you have accomplished in your communities and the lives you've impacted. Reflect on the amazing people involved in this community across the country. And if you haven't done so yet, join the conversations taking place on social media by using the hashtag Enactus Nationals. The one major upside with this year's new format is that you have time to take part in more than just the competition. I encourage you to use this time to reach out to another team, welcome a new student, or send a message to someone you think deserves it or needs it now more than ever. So thank you all, merci, congratulations, félicitations, and I cannot wait to see you again next week.